中からオーロラのように味が広がってあれどんどん空が近づいてきて I want whatever she's smoking. So, 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 Keep forgetting the number now. Anyways, if you have not seen the previous episode, go ahead and watch it. You know the drill. And if you happen to enjoy this video and you have not subscribed, do it right now and hit that look while you're at it and share this video with your homies. And without further ado, let's get straight into this video. This video is going to be a little shorter than usual, unfortunately, because of my lack of time. But you know what? It's okay, it happens. Anyways, when our summer time, perfect timing. Remember how you said this morning that maybe we should send Lana san back home? Did you mean that? それはレナの意思次第であろうそれとも細かなものに何か言われたか Not exactly, but when s a m i c h a n is desperate for more info on the curse too. If Lenasan goes home, we won't be able to learn anything more from our dreams. I troll off as I realize the gravity, gravity, gravity of what that means. Still, it's not like we can just up and ask Lenasan what she thinks about going home. While I'm agonizing over this dilemma, when s a m i c h a n guesses my thoughts. ご主人よ。レナの安全だけを考えるならな。なんとかして、かけらだけをレナから取り出し、その上でホーリーを離れさせる。それが一番良い。Please。おうはいも、それは分かっておるのだ。もうサメちゃん、Are you sure you can't read minds? ご主人が分かりやすいのだ。だがな、ご主人、レナからうまくかけらを取り出せるかどうか。今試しても成功する保証はない。Rex。Sorry, the t a m a I get that, but. 何より我が輩には、レナの安全だけを考えてやることは難しそうなのだ。<笑>ご主人とレナがもたらす情報から、呪いを解くきっかけくらいはつかめぬか、ついそう考えてしまうのだよ。もうサメちゃん、saying the same stuff as Komakawa さん。だがな。レナを危険にさらすことになるかもしれんそう思うと気がとがめるのだやはり安全を一番に考えてやるべきではないかとな、yeah. ご主人にレナを返すことも考えるべきと言ってしまったのは迷いが口をついたのだろう結局何が正解かは蓋を開けてみることにはわからんのだいや、yeah, this... Yeah, this isn't like a math test. There's no clear cut right and wrong answer. Besides, actually, never mind. Um, well. You that eat the meat of a doda. Wanga Haiwa, go to Jin no Kokoroma de Mito Seruaki de Wanaikara. I guess not. Sorry, I'm moving the mic. The thing is. You know how the reason I sleepwalk the Lena san's room every night is because the fragments are drawn to each other? I'm thinking this might be happening for the same reason. Who the freak is calling me right now, bro? Sorry, I gotta get this. Hello? Uh, you got the wrong number. No, it isn't. No, no problem. No, it's okay, it happens. Likewise. Okay, so I keep getting these calls of some guy named Patrick. Like, is this Patrick? No! It isn't Patrick. I don't know. Patrick died, got hit by a car, died to AIDS. I don't know what, but I'm so tired of receiving calls and be like, hey, is this Patrick Carrias? I don't know who Patrick Carrias is. If you're Patrick Carrias and you're watching this, please tell them you changed your number. Please. And if you're dead, well, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> This entire time we get very. I wouldn't say very little, but I feel like for sure she's been one of the characters that g e t the least amount of action throughout the story. You know, besides Arud, obviously. And also Lena. Like her and her and Lena definitely have been getting the least amount of attention, especially in the common room. I feel like Mako and Yoshino have always been the big two for some reason. I'm thinking this might be happening for the same reason. Nanda, 
Oh, I forgot to say something too. Jesus Christ, how did I forget this? We hit 800 subs. That's freaking crazy. I didn't think I was going to get out of the 700 so soon, but uh, here we are. The road that 1K is looking very, very possible at this point. And if I keep going, we might hit it before the end of the year. Thank you guys for the support if you've been here. And if you're new to here, thank you for your support. And I hope you will find some sort of enjoyment in this channel. Hopefully, I could be some sort of escape. Or, you know, maybe something you like to do in your free time. Whatever it could possibly be. I'm glad to have you here. And I'm really happy to know that there's people out there that are willing to watch or invest their time in me. That's very humbling and also very surprising on my end. <laughs> okay, well... Um, Never think about Lennon's son leaving, my chest starts to hurt. When the Samachan falls silent for a few seconds, when she finally does speak, she neither laughs nor scolds me. Facts. Listen to your mommy, I mean mommy. She is mommy, dude. No cap. No freaking cap. I haven't even played a root and I already know she is the girl. Ah, uh, I see. If that's the case, I must be an awfully selfish guy. The biggest reason I don't want Landestan to leave isn't because I'm worried we can't remove the fragment safely or that we won't be able to break the curse without her. I just wouldn't be by her side. But if I admit that really is the case, it'll have a huge impact on the decision I make, and I'm scared of that. Yeah, I kinda figured. Okay, let's stop here. No point in thinking about this when I know I don't have an answer. In an effort to cut through my hesitation, I pop up a few of the candles Lenasan gave me into my mouth. What? Candles? Candies? Hmm? Oh, it's just that these taste different from how I. Mm. A sudden pain that sells my stomach that's so intense I begin fearing for my life. My legs tremble. Uh, are you kidding me? Is that small handful of candy about to bring me to my knees? Hmm? What the heck is- Blah! With a scream of despair, I crumbled to the ground. Did he throw up candy? Jesus Christ. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Shut up, Lena. I want whatever she's smoking. <laughs> what? Huh? With sparkling, vacant eyes, the Mutaxan continues to mumble to herself. Meanwhile, Hitachi-san keeps slapping her in an attempt to bring her back to her senses. This is all because I told the others about the candy Lena-san gave me. Hmm. <laughs> When I first told them what the candy was like, they didn't believe me at all. So I dared them to try it for themselves, which led to our current predicament. What is she on? Is this deadly candy really meant to be edible? Anyway, there's something I want to ask you too. So Lena-san gave me these candies as a thank you gift. Why do you think she'd do that? <laughs> I think so. In any case, I know I'm failing pretty badly at teaching her about Japanese culture since we keep getting sidetracked during lunch, and I am technically sneaking into her room every night. Is this some kind of subtle way of saying she's sick of my antics? Yeah, are you stupid? She literally hugged you naked, dude. Jesus. Wait, 
Hitachi san pulls out her phone and starts typing. All praise the information era. Arimashita. Lena san ni watasareta no to onaji package desu yo ne. Uh, salmiaki. The world's most disgusting candy? Sekai. Naruhodo. Catchphrase ni itsuari nashi kato. <laughs> Retching sounds are so funny when people are like throwing up. Like, <laughs> so funny to me. I need to show y'all a video that has me crying. It's so freaking stupid, but it's so freaking funny. I found it. I don't even remember where I found it. <laughs> but basically, I'm gonna explain real quick. The guy is throwing marshmallows at two girls. I'm not sure who these people are. It could be his girlfriend and his sister. I don't know. I have no idea. He throws a marshmallow to the girl one. And he throws the marshmallow to girl two. And then he throws another one to girl one, I think. And then he grow he throws an egg at girl two. And she's like, ugh, 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 like basically retching and she ends up throwing up. But it's so freaking funny. Go ahead and take a look for yourself. Babe, here. Try. <laughs> oh, oh my god. That was easy. <laughs> 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 How do you do it? You guys want to go? Ready? Ready? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Th that that's what the video was. Oh man, it had me dying. It, it's so good. And the laughter of the guy, it just makes it so much better. The Madaxon still looks a little sick. Wait, don't tell me she really does hate me. Why would she give you trash candy? That's terrible, dude. So this wasn't because she hates me? What? That's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Eat it! Oh my god, I ruined the moment with that. <laughs> we have to do that again. Yes. <laughs> yes. You're not serious, are you, Muna Samichana? あ、2名の尊い犠牲を前にしても恐れを知らないとは。さすがは村雨様ですね。おや、どうされましたか?そういえばマコもアリツさんの言うことを大げさだと決めつけてたわよね。Since this was a gift, it's only polite that you try one too. Tomodachi-san <laughs> circles behind Hidachi-san and pins her arms behind her back. <laughs> you got it. I pluck a piece of candy from the box and approach you, Dutch son. It's rare to see her so openly flustered. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, is that so? <laughs> Why is she shaking? <laughs> I shut the candy in her mouth. How could I resist? She looked so terrified. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> this is so good. Yeah, tell us, Mako. 
これでマコにも私とアリツさんの苦しみが伝わる。Did she die? <laughs> 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 oh, she's dying in the inside, I just know. You okay there, Hitachi san? Hitachi san is just standing there as if she's frozen in time. Wait, she's not dead, is she? Just as I'm starting to seriously worry about Hitachi san, she quietly crumples to the floor. <laughs> Sorry, we went too far. Here, have some water. She just starts crying. <laughs> this is great. So, not even Hitachi san can handle this candy, huh? <laughs> she looks so sad. Oh! <laughs> ハカカミントのような清涼感とともに魚の内臓が腐ったような匂いが鼻の中を鮮やかに吹き抜けていく。的確に表現されると私まで味を思い出して。イタチさん、that's <笑> ああ、ディ。その深いな味は全身で感じるほどね。味を全身で感じるなんて、これは実際に味わった人でなければ決して。Just <笑> Get one to Murasame, please. Please. Still sitting on the floor, Hitachi san groggily raises her head. She stares at the ceiling with vacant eyes. Now that I think about it, even though we've taught Lena san a bunch about Japan, we don't really know anything about her home country, do we? Depending on how you look at it, that could be a pretty rude thing to say. But the Mutaki san's concern for Lena san is genuine and heartfelt. And considering how awful that candy tasted, I can't blame her. Pretty sure it'd be classified as a disaster level demon at the very least. Give one to Murasame, please! True that. Alright, how about we flip today's meeting around and have Lanason teach us about her hometown instead? Dude, we haven't seen this guy in a minute. What the heck? I just realized that. Our chef, our chef, he died, son, still down for the count. I'll make breakfast. I at least know how to cook a simple breakfast. What's no, don't. Candy? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, he's joining Akiho now. <laughs> he died. <laughs> The scariest thing about this candy is the worst of the taste doesn't come right away. It only hits you after you've started chewing, but when it does come, it hits you all at once. It's like an edible. It's like a slow-acting poison. This stuff ain't food. It's a biological weapon.
Let us not burst out laughing when I tell her what happened this morning. Judging by her reaction, she didn't give me the candy out of malice or anything. That, that's a that's a good that's a plus five points for that. That that's that'd be a, a really sick but funny prank. I read online that snacks like these are normal in your home country. Is that true? Demo Yellow Starburst IQ, I swear. Wait, so you did know? I wish you would have told me before it was too late. Bruh. Hey, hey, hey. Don't go blaming it on me. I did nothing wrong. You were the one being nosy. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Give one day, Rentaro. Yes. I brought the salmiaki. Salmiaki. Supposedly the world's most disgusting candy. With me to school. Mostly because I was worried about leaving them unattended after what happened to boy Yasu Haru-san. Jesus Christ! So that's the source of the running smell. Nah, bro, that sounds like a cleaning product. Throw it away. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Don't even joke about that. Do you have a death wish? Did you hear a word we said? You're just gonna make him want to do it more. Come on, stop talking. We've done this joke already, so it won't even be funny. You'll be throwing your life away for nothing. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh, God. Everyone worldly watches it, Antaro Chu. Antaro slides off his chair and hits the floor. The only one surprised by this is Koharu. The rest of us were expecting this. やっぱり日本の人の口には合わないみたいですね。そんなレベルじゃないよ。オーロラが。わ。オーロラが。すごい。あれ。ばあちゃん。あ。それに。いじいちゃんと。Don't you want him to die? <laughs> Not even this touching scene of sibling love elicits a reaction from us. We're all too jaded by this point. Lena-san, you mentioned your country is called the Land of Auroras, right? So what I'm hearing is that you're trying to kill us. So the Aurora is like the equivalent of the river Styx? Styx? What? Yeah, 
そもそも何のためにこんなものを食べるんですかそう言われましても私の国の古いお菓子は砂糖ではなくリコリスを使ってますね Me Licorice <sighs> Mixed feelings about it Sometimes it's good and sometimes it's not I don't know why ですから風味は独特ですが昔から普通に食べられてるんですか Hang on, what's licorice? I'm a yajiga suruk sadis, ne? Asia no kunigoni de Licorice, really? I'm a yajiga suruk sadis, ne? Toshka ni, you are the middle of a kusuri poya, you must be much the ne? Santo, Sakana no naizo, Sritsbush, the Mazia was at a yona ajito. Hab no yona serio kanga, do kyo shita. The Antero clings to his desk and slowly lifts himself off the ground. It looks like he's finally recovered enough to talk. So you put that on this, ne? Smarty, Karadani eat a bimono that on this yo. So, ka, Bioyak, Kutini Nigashi, de Yumone. Kenko Shokohinara, Mushiro Sugoi Koka, Kitai de Kiso des, ne? Nanda, what it at your Kenko in that theater car? I don't think that's how candy works, bro. Yeah, isn't that right, Linusan? Linusan? Yes, it's true. She gotta be lying. You liar. You were totally making a... I have no idea what these guys are talking about, Face, a second ago. Well, well, that's all. Today, I'm going to bring some of the food from home. You're going to be afraid of your snacks. You're going to be afraid of your snacks. <laughs> My god, <laughs> poor thing. The Dachsan's face goes pale while he touched on so terrified her legs are trembling. もう大丈夫ですよ。ジンジャークッキーは外国の人も美味しいと言ってくれますから。へえ、へえ。ちょうどありのクッキーなのかな。じゃあ、一つもらいますね。お前、勇気あるな。だってクッキーだし、他に変
し食べるもので日本の人に馴染みがありそうなのはパンケーキですかね<笑>パンケーキレナさんの国では毎日パンケーキが食べられるんですかご飯の友達さんのシェアムでアンティスペーションはい他にもパンはありますが一番多く食べるパンですねお皿の上にたくさん重ねてみんな自分が食べたい分だけ取って食べます<笑>住みたいかも北欧落ち着いてくださいあの飴の味をもう忘れたんですか女子ってやけにパンケーキが好きだよなニコ姫様でさえそうだったとはみんなあるにもディフェンスチューンパンケーキとハッケーキパンケーキにはサーモンの燻製や鹿肉を挟んで食べますねええ,ええっとベリーが豊富だったのではないんですかはいでもパンケーキにはサーモンではないですか What are you on? そこはジャムとかクリームじゃないんだ<笑> What is with Europe's obsession with making What is with Europe's obsession What is with Europe's obsession with mixing sweet and salty? Because that's just how their culture is. しかし、メシマズはイギリスのイメージだったけどな。何をおっしゃってるんですかイギリスには美味しいものがないだけで、まずいわけではありませんよ。You guys sure hate England, huh? つか、将来苦労するのはお前だろう。Why? メシマズは地味にきついぞ。何せ。毎日のことだからな。Okay, but why would I? マサオミ、メシマズとは一体何のことですか、uh, Don't worry about it, l e n a s o n Every country has its own culture, so it's only natural that they all find different things tasty. We might find this kind of food met, but obviously everyone's tastes are different. そんなことないと思いますよ。私の国では最近、日本食が大流行してますから。So that means Scandinavian food does just suck. And here I was trying to be thoughtful, though I am glad Japanese food has become more popular around the world. No, it's just I was thinking. Everyone shoots l e n a s o n where it looks. It's like they're her mom. Everyone shoots l e n a s o n where it looks. It's like they're her mom or something. Tomotaki san's already in tears. What's that thing you're eating, l You can make bread out of potatoes? Pick up one of the potato bread loaves. Looks kind of like a flat cookie that's about the size of my palm, but it feels as spongy as bread. Huh, you made this yourself? She went through all the trouble baking it. She must really like it. What if I try a bite? I want to know how it tastes. But you like it, right? ですが、本当に、本当に期待しないでほしいです。日本でいうところの駄菓子とか、そういうものですから。That's fine. I like those. I tear a piece of one of the loaves before Lenison can stop me. どうも、私の国のお料理は日本の人に評判が良くないようですから、心配ですよ。飯まずの意味も、なんとなく想像できてしまいましたし。Oh. Well, we still don't know how this one tastes. Dang, she figured it out. But if I can find just one tasty thing among the pile of food, I can lie in the mood. Here goes nothing. Hmm? Hmm. Ah, 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 本当のこと言うなら、今のうちだと思うよ。<笑>まさか俺たちを騙して、地獄へ引きずり込もうとしてるってわけじゃないよな
You don't have to believe me if you don't want to. And your taste might differ from mine anyway. Masami? Is it really delicious? Yeah, I wouldn't say it's like amazing or anything, but it's the kind of mildly tasty food you can easily get addicted to. Mind if I have some more? Actually, I don't want to take too much since you made this for yourself. It'd be rude to ask for more. I attract my outstretched hand. Really? But... Really? Well, if you insist. Well, this is rather embarrassing. To be honest, the potato bread was kind of plain, and it left me craving milk. But at the same time, I felt like it had Lena's personal touch to it. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, this definitely tastes like Lance and Made. It was that was his expression that had gone from shock to understanding. Really? Are you sure? Hi. For some reason, the bread tastes even sweeter after hearing those words. Well then, could you please make more for me? Hi. Mm. He just ate some mid bread. Why is he capping so much? Then us and I walk home together again. Part of that's because all our other friends seem eager to stick us together. But I can no longer deny that this is something I want to. <laughs> I'd say it was pretty terrifying for some of us, considering what we ate. Then the sun reaches out to take my hand. This time, I'm looking forward to holding it. Oh, I was talking to myself and I was and I was talking to Nah, even the food sampling was fun. Not a lie though, I doubt I'll ever eat salmiyaki again. I'm happy I got to know more about you. Masaomi, so you I'm Oh yeah, that reminds me. There was something I wanted to ask you. Yes, Truth is, I'm curious what kind of place your home country is. Is it right if I ask you more about it? Of course, it's But, what do you want to Well, everything really. For starters, What's your hometown like? Yeah, you mentioned that before. Never rises? No way, that's a real place. That's scary. Never rises. Uh, you mean the midnight sun and polar night? In Japanese, we call that Yakuya and Kyokuya. Yakuya and Kyokuya? Um, you did say it was called the Land of the Aurora. はい。夏は森と湖が綺麗で、あと誰かが住んでる場所以外に生えているベリーは自由に積んでいいんです。法律で自由にベリーを積む権利が認められてますから。はあ、that's kind of cool. If any can pick as much as they want, wouldn't you run out? Or is there just that many berries growing everywhere? Your home must be surrounded by nature. Hoodie's pretty rural, but I don't think Japan has enough natural land to support something like that. Fjord? What's a fate? FJ, the new F Ford Fit. Sorry. Mm. Are we talking like the Ice Age here? Shogaki. So you know this car? Sanatoki. Tidiku o hodo. Okina, okina, koriga. Yamato umio kezutandes. 
フィヨルドですよ。そんなシャイルでゲット、but they sound amazing。あたしにとっては当たり前の景色でしたが、離れてみると懐かしい感じですね。いつか、マサオミにも見せたいですよ。<笑> Don't forget, you've got to show me the roller too. あとは、そうですね。私の村では、トナカイをたくさん飼ってますよ。鉢植えの植物を外へ出してると、たまにトナカイが食べちゃうこともありますね。Wow, do you live that close to you?The only thing I know about reindeer is that they're supposed to pull Santa Claus' and sleigh. <笑>トナカイは力強いですけど、歩くのは遅いです。サンタクロースの旅は、きっとのんびりしたものでしょうね。Try to picture what Lena Sun's hometown looks like. Based on what she's told me, I'm sure it's a quiet, peaceful place. Now I really want to go visit. もちろん、オーロラを見るには、私の村はぴったりだと思いますよ。She capped. I saw the picture of Lena Sai and I sitting in the snow, just watching the northern lights illuminate the night sky together. 私の国では、トナカイはとても大事な生き物ですね。角や毛皮はもちろん、骨も残さず道具に加工されますし、どこのお肉も美味しくいただきます。日本食が流行ってからは、鰹節を真似て、トナカイで鹿節まで作ったくらいです。Wow, so they adapted Japanese cuisine to local taste? I really have to wonder what that tastes like. I definitely want to try that. <笑>私の国でも珍しい食べ物ですけどね。That side, I do think it's a good thing that they use every part of the reindeer. In that respect, Scandinavians are pretty similar to Japanese people. Beginning to see how their culture came up with things like potato bread and licorice candy, too. With how far north Scandinavia is, I thought there's too many crops that can grow there. So their cuisine, make as, so their cuisine makes as much use as possible out of every available ingredient. It had probably taken a lot of effort to turn the barren tundra of the north into a habitable land. Of course, Japan had its own share of challenges when civilization first came into being here. I'm sure every country's history is like that. Ah, <sighs> お父さんとお母さんにも会いたくなりましたね。あ、I'm sure Lena Sun's just mentioned this in passing that it's not a big, big deal. I know I'm overreacting. I'm just worried she'll go far away just as we started going close. <laughs> um, but even so, I tightly squeezed Lena Sun's hand and I tightly squeezed my meat. All right, we're gonna have to save her right here <laughs> because I've run out of time. I know this is kind of like a cliffhanger. I don't usually do that. Uh, but. Unfortunately, I ran out of time and I need to go to bed now.、Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, all that reindeer talk started reminding me about. Right now, I started laughing because when she started talking about reindeers, I started remembering those videos you see online. I mean, I don't know if y'all seen them before, but I've seen videos where reindeers get hit by cars. I, I know, I know it sounds bad, but hear me out. Just search up anything on, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Just search it up on Google or YouTube. Just search up reindeer get hit by a car or a compilation or something. And it just, it's just so funny how they, when they get hit and they ragdoll, like, it, like, it just looks so funny. I know explaining it doesn't sound like, oh, it's very funny. But if you see the video, if you see it for yourself, it's like, all right, this is pretty dang funny. But I just started remembering. <laughs> I, started rem <laughs> I started remembering reindeers getting hit by cars. And I was just cackling in my head. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, enough about animal murder. I'm going to conclude the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it was definitely a shorter one. And also, this video was even, this episode was definitely a lot more.、Mm, I, I was about to say stale, but it's not really stale. I'd say the previous episode was more stale than anything. And not, it's not necessarily a bad thing, I'd say. You know, last episode, I feel like it was very informative. It dove deep kind of into the history and ancestors and all that jazz. But this episode, it was just LOL kind of, you know what I mean? Like, it, it definitely made me giggle a bit, which was fun. That's always great. And for that reason, I definitely enjoyed this episode more than the other. Of course, there's going to be the serious times, and then there's going to be this, there's going to be the serious moments, and then there's going to be the funny moments. And. I could appreciate both, but personally, I like to laugh a lot. So, this episode was pretty great. 
anyways like the whole food tasting thing and the candy thing was was pretty comedy but that's all i got to say about this episode i'm done here hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did you're another friendly reminder hit that like subscribe if you made it this far and you haven't do it if you're, if you're watching my videos and not subscribe what the heck is wrong with you seriously just do it it takes literally no effort it takes you less than three seconds just do it and hit that like and share this video with your homies and as always i'll see you guys in the next video maybe tomorrow maybe not i'm not sure but i'll see you in the next one <laughs> y'all stay safe and until next time fellas oh one more thing that i forgot to say 800 goats there's 800 goats including myself 200 more we gotta hit that k we could do it guys by the end of the year that's the challenge for me we could do it <laughs>